Hey, what's up guys, MKBHD here. So last week, ASUS promised that they would be rolling out Android 4.1 Jelly Bean to the Transformer Pad Infinity, then they had a delay. They said, all right, next week we'll roll it out. Well, here we are, and on Monday morning, little did we know that that meant that today we would be getting the Transformer Pad Infinity Jelly Bean. So now the Transformer Pad Infinity, the Transformer Prime, and the Transformer Pad 300 all have Android 4.1 rolling on them, and this is what we're gonna be taking a look at today, uh, Android on a 10 inch form factor tablet and a little bit of how it compares to uh, Android 4.1 on a seven inch tablet. So without any further ado, let's hop into this quick video and take a look. So this is what it's gonna first look like when you first get Android 4.1 Jelly Bean installed on your Transformer Pad Infinity. Now, when we first got Ice Cream Sandwich, we were introduced to that camera shortcut over on the left and we get this nice uh, interesting effect here with our finger. But now we get the camera shortcut, the unlock and Google Now at the top, which I'll get to in a second, but we'll unlock here. Of course, I have to swipe to the right to unlock. And you notice that you get the same tablet UI that you get with Android 4.0. So any 10 inch, or I guess anything greater than the size of the Nexus 7, which is a unique seven inch form factor, you still get this tablet UI. So you don't get the swipe down notification bar. Instead, you get the regular horizontal layout and you get a regular notification down at the bottom right hand corner. So on the Nexus 7, you didn't have these paginated icons at the top, but this is an ASUS thing. So you get to know what page you're on. And of course, swiping from page to page is really fast, really, really smooth, thanks to Project Butter and Android 4.1. So to see exactly what version of Android you have, you can go to settings here and hit about tablet and you'll see it's Android 4.1.1, Jelly Bean. And of course you get that little uh, Easter egg here where you can toss around multiple Jelly Beans here. But that's a, a good way to know what version of the OS you have. But basically, Google Now is one of the biggest new features, and uh, you have more than one way to access it now. If you go to the app drawer, which is again, very smooth, you can open up the Google app now, and instead of just going to a search, it'll actually bring you into the Google Now layout, which has two columns of cards, which is actually pretty cool. So you have, uh, it's not really sorted in any way, but you might have multiple calendar events over here and some more sports cards over here. So that's pretty nice that you have more than one column using all of the resolution of this 1080p displays real estate. So I'll go ahead and ask it. You can also update or access it by tapping this microphone over here. How cold is it in Alaska? It's 28 degrees in Anchorage right now. So you can see that it's pretty responsive. Of course, just as fast as you'd expect it to be. Google Now is very, very fast. And of course you get the web search results below if you ever need uh, to question that source. Of course, it's very cold there. What is 25 plus 25? All right, well, sometimes it'll respond just by saying Google, other times it won't, but uh, that's one of the unique features of Android 4.1 is Google Now. And of course, you still have that uh, neat app tray, like we said, the cards UI uh, kind of preserves itself here. And you also get the new backgrounds behind the widgets, which give you an outline of how big they look. So they all kind of have this uniform look when you scroll through the widgets. And then the app drawer is of course very smooth. So that's Android 4.1 on the ASUS Transformer Pad Infinity. Performance is extremely fast. It is all improved now because, you know, Project Butter is just that awesome. Uh, pretty much brings the stability we've wanted with Android 4.1. Uh, and it's, it's just here to stay now. This is what Android was meant to be. And it's really, really close to stock here. There's very few ASUS uh, customizations. The one ASUS thing that I think is really ugly is the uh, notification bar that's not from ASUS. So if I go down here and use ASUS settings, I don't know, I happen to think that looks really ugly. So I definitely don't enable that, I uncheck that. And you get the nice expandable notifications of Android 4.1. You can swipe them away and of course clear all. So that's it, that's Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. Hope you enjoyed this quick look at it. And uh, tell me what you think. Let me know if you're enjoying it on your 1080p tablet. Peace out guys.